Today is Thursday, August 11th. I'm now joined by head uh, football coach Charles Huff in this Marshall football practice report. Coach Huff, a big theme from today was energy, effort, and intensity. How did you like the way the guys tackled this practice today? Yeah, we, we did some, some really competitive periods, and I thought we came out with really good energy. Uh, we practice at night, obviously our schedule, we've got a couple night games, so we want to make sure from a physiological standpoint, a mental standpoint, um, man-made light versus natural light, all the things that come with, you know, a different time of the game. Um, I thought the guys handled it well, really competitive. You know, we had one period there on the goal line that was really back and forth. Uh, when you have a really good team, there should be some back and forth, and we saw that today. You talk to the guys after practice about self-assessing and being able to improve on that. What do you want to see in that self-assessment process from these players? Yeah, I think, you know, when, when you're a competitor and you're competing at a high level, you're not satisfied. You know, you may have made a great catch or made a great play, a great interception, but you want to know how you can do better, how right? you can do it again. And, and that's what we got to get our guys to understand. Sometimes, um, you know, players get into a situation where they are so excited to have made a play and that's all they talk about for the next three plays. Well, we want to self-assess. Okay, go back. Let's look at the film. Let's go back, talk to your coach on the sideline. You know, how can I do it better? You know, could my right have been better? Could my coverage have been better? And if we can do that and constantly self-assess, we'll constantly improve, whether that's, you know, by strides or by small marks. And that's what we want to try to do this season. Having a late practice and then a quick turnaround the next day, how does that prepare the guys for the dog days of the season? Yeah, I think it's just, it's just you know, controlling your mind. You know, we, you can't control what time the clock goes off tomorrow. Uh, but you can control how you wake up with a positive uh, attitude and, and, and where your energy and your focus is. Um, if you tell yourself that, man, I didn't get a lot of sleep, you're probably going to have a drowsy day. Um, if you tell yourself this is another day the Lord has given me to go out and maximize my opportunities, uh, you wake up and you probably have just a little bit more energy. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be good. It's part of the process. Um, not so much just trying to make them tired, but trying to get them to keep their mind focused on the gold and not worry about what's you know what's going on right now. Um, so that's what probably what we try to try to do tomorrow. Get them out here early. Um, get them rock and roll and see how they respond. A guy like Clint Trickett sliding into that offensive coordinator role, he has college experience as a quarterback. How valuable is that for a quarterback room that is a little young this season? Yeah, I think it's I think it's really valuable. I think, you know, whenever you're coordinating, it really helps if you can see it from the quarterback's eyes. Doesn't mean you can't do it from other positions and be really good at it, but it really helps. Um, the quarterbacks, it really helps the offense, it really helps the receivers. Um, it helps kind of have a little bit more continuity because again, if you can see it through the quarterback size, the quarterback is the general, the quarterback is what makes the offense go, whether you're running the ball or throwing the ball. If the coordinator can see it through his eyes, it helps that he played the position so he knows a little bit about it. Um, it really helps the, the quarterbacks have a little bit more control, a little bit more management on the field. Coach, thanks for your time. We'll see you Tuesday. Thank you guys. Go Herd.